Hello, I'm Mary and I'm just today going to talk to you about my work which is working with Spiritual Healing Light. I live in County Kildare in Ireland and I'm working online distantly at the moment and my work is international. I have people from lots of interesting places so that's um, it's really nice to see that happen. So I just want to explain a bit about Spiritual Healing Light, how I came to work with it, what it is and how it might help you basically. So um, I've always been interested in other therapies and I've lived my life, but around about 2005, I started working with angel healing with crystals and other therapies. And that was OK, but eventually I kept there was like a gap and I kept coming back to this searching for spiritual growth, basically, because spirit is yourself. Your own spirit is searching for something. And I, I was drawn very much to this spiritual light healing which is in the form of what we call divine plan healing. Now, it's not religion based at all. Um, the actual light that we work with is called emerald heart light. And it's very, very focused. Um, it's very powerful and it's very grounded in a practical sense. And that's what drew me to it, really. So um, if you're talking about spiritual light, what is it? Well, this light comes from source, from creation source. And if you think about that, creation is where everything is pushed out to us, basically. Everything that's around us is pushed out constantly. And because it is so powerful, it has that ability. Um, it has its own form of consciousness. It has its, it's like um, a higher perspective. And I can describe it a bit like a master chess player because... The spiritual light or consciousness has a vast ability to see the end game for everybody's life. And it can basically know what each move is to position you into the best place for you to live your life the way you want to. So if you come for a healing with Divine Plan Healing, you are going to be shown what's in your life, what's not working, try and move that away and then try and move you into a better position. So it is like this game of constantly um, moving you from one place to another, except it's not a game, it's your life. And that's the important thing. It's not limited. It doesn't have just one perspective. It has this bigger um, perspective and it is working for the highest level for you so that at all times it's the best outcome for you. And it really does help you to move out of limitation it helps you out of your comfort zone and the world today is really pushing people for change a lot of people are reconsidering everything and thinking well how do i change things and you know if you've been drawn to this talk for example there's a message for you because the light wants to show you something or it wants to maybe trigger something in you to make you think about your life because this is what it's all about change change and evolution and this light, the Emerald Heart Light, is called the light of truth to evolve people, to get people to, to, to bring out the best of themselves. And the light is within us. The light is um, pushing its own light or spirit up out of you. Um, your best wants to come out from you at all times. It's calling up your life force, basically. And it starts to break down the old fears and habits and beliefs that you have to connect to yourself. So something is lifting out of you that you don't feel any lack. And it's not that you might feel a lack, but there's a certain point in your life where something will start to happen. Um, you might be triggered and you might decide to make changes or you want to make changes. So for me, um, I left my last job. I was there for 28 years working as a teacher. And that's that's you know fine but eventually I came to the end of that and I wanted to move on and I had various fears came up so things like um, poverty consciousness how will I survive what will I do I thought that was my main fear but when I left the job I left it because I was given the the power the ability through this spiritual healing light but then there were other things that came up that I realized well you know am I afraid to be seen publicly and I'm afraid to tell people I've changed it and done something different but in the end there's a whole new energy came into my life because I made the change because I allowed myself to flow out of one thing into another 
And this can be on many, many levels because it can affect you. If you're staying in a space too long, you can't see any difference. And if you can actually move yourself on, even physically you feel better. Maybe you don't feel stressed, you don't have the headaches you used to, um, you don't have that feeling of tension or whatever it is in your stomach or your heart or whatever it might be. So on many levels it can help you, even physically, and the energy of it can move mentally, emotionally and definitely spiritually, that you're finding a pathway and it's constantly evolving. So if you came to me for a divine plan healing, what would happen? Well, first of all, I'm working online at the moment. I can send distant healing. That is not difficult for spiritual light because it just goes to wherever it's needed. So I can work with you in your own home. Healing is sent to you and you can receive it that way. Likewise, I can do trainings online. Uh, I do that and it's no, no difficulty. So the first thing in a divine plan healing is that you... Um, you have a one hour healing session. You have a target and you just relax, you receive the light um, and you allow yourself to go into a space, like a bubble space, what I call an expansion space. So it's like you are in this space and whatever target of fear comes up from your system, some target belief fear starts to rise up. It's like a child, a frightened child coming up to be seen. You know, I, I, admitting, OK, I'm here and I'm afraid. And then it also meets with your higher self sort of coming down, your more mature adult self meeting this and seeing what's going on in your system. But it's surrounded by the light. And because it's surrounded by the light, it's getting that support. And the light has a consciousness. It has this ability to create and push everything out into the world. It also has the ability to show you what's there in your own consciousness because it gets locked in here and it has the ability to pull back or draw out what you don't need anymore. And this is how it's so powerful. So where energy clearing can clear the layers and the surface layers and it can work and it can work for a while, but eventually something will trigger it again. But with spiritual light, it's going directly to that point in consciousness to just dissolve that fear, draw it out of your system completely and evolve it better. And this is the main way that it can help you. So you have a one hour healing session. That's fine. You go away. And then what? Well, we ask you to take an essence called the divine love essence. So this is the bottle here. And this bottle is a 10 ml bottle. You take drops in water each day. Now, you might think to yourself, well, you know, can I do that? You can. It's easy. There's instructions. It lasts for about one month and it does last. But the key is the fact that the same healing light vibration is in this bottle as what you've received in the healing. And this light vibration is the same consciousness, the same ability day by day. You're drawing out all those other things that come up, all the residual fears that come up. And it helps you to release it. It supports you. But it's a bit like saying, no, no, don't give up on yourself. Keep taking this and um, allow yourself a chance for this to work in your system and to um, help you sort of to flow onwards. The light supports you. It works here, drawing out the things that have been held back, that have been stagnant, that have sort of come up into your system. And it's helping you to heal. Now, there might be an emotional clearing, but it will help you. It's hard to face up to some things and it helps you to do this. So you have a one hour healing. You have a divine love essence that you take and it starts to show you then. You begin to realize that there's more to you. There's more inside you than you thought was there. And it's helping to bring that up to the surface for you. So... Um, you begin to feel safe with yourself, something you thought you could not get rid of, something you felt, well, I've lived with this my whole life and I'm not going to be able to change it. Or you might have felt that, oh, I messed up so badly and I can't deal with it, I can't change it, or it was just too much. It works there to support you and that you can feel safe again, that it's possible for you to move your life onwards. And really, spirituality is about freedom, giving yourself freedom to move on, to be yourself in the best possible way. 
So then we ask you to do something else, which is to keep a journal. Now don't run away from me yet, please. This is very simple. No one's going to read it. It's just a few notes that you write down yourself just every day. It can be a few words, a few notes. In particular, um, if you feel emotional, you feel a memory coming up. Maybe you feel angry or upset or grief or something. It doesn't matter. It's for you, right? And if you don't write it down, you'll forget. And this is the whole thing. We need to look at the pattern that's there. And it's your pattern, so you're looking at that and help you to join the dots and to see what's happening in your life. And once you've kept your journal, after one month, there is a follow-up session on Zoom. So for about 15, 20 minutes, I just talk with you and just to see what's happened in your life, to see the patterns, because once you see it, then you can move on from it because the light wants to show you this is what was in there. This is what's been causing you problems. And this is what's been lifted out of your system. And it's like one step after another. So it's as if you can zoom out to a much bigger, bigger, wider perspective and see things completely differently. And then you zoom in again, but you've brought in a different viewpoint, a different attitude. And you are able to then give more depth into it to understand it better and to draw sort of wisdom from it. So you're going that step further and it's helping you and it's being dissolved out of your system. And in the end, it's all about helping you. It's about empowering you that you can live your life, that you can move forward. And if you want to make changes, the fear goes. I lost my fear of giving up my job. Um, I've, I've got over fears of many things and there's a support system there. So it can help you in any way. It can help you physically to release the energy of something that's affecting you any emotions that you have, fear in particular, beliefs that are locked in there into your life, in, into your system. And you think that it's been there so long, you actually don't know the difference. You think it's part of your personality, but it's not. It's just something that's holding you back. So you might be shy, um, you might lack motivation, you might want to do something and can't get yourself going to do it. Um, it could be some issue in your life. Um, it could be forgiving somebody if you can't forgive the person forgive the situation and help you to move on it can also help very much for an event in your life so for example I, had, I did one recently for someone who was going for surgery to support the whole event of that surgery everything around it gets the light in there to help it and to support it as it happens you know it could be a wedding it might be a funeral it might be an interview giving a talk um, anything in your life that you want to change um, it's very very good for that it works very well distantly light flows at the speed of light and there is absolutely no obstacle it goes straight to the person works very well for pets I use it all the time with my cats because um, I'm just such a cat person and animals love it they just soak up the light and it helps them so much so there's many ways the spiritual light can work with you but it's a deep powerful way of working it's also much quicker because it is going straight to the issue and if you get this support system for four to six weeks then to help you with this i also teach divine plan healing and um, because i want to show people how they can change their life and help them to to move on as well and i'm also hosting the mary magdalene light circle which is another spiritual light vibration of love and wisdom and the feminine balancing light that the two aspects are balanced within our lives so that's just a little bit about what i'm doing with spiritual light and if you look at the website you'll see lots of other information and i also have a facebook page so i just want to thank you for being here with me today if you have any questions please contact me and i'll certainly answer and i'll talk to you um, if you'd like thank you very much